Mom, give me, give me some chicken. I want some chicken, Mom. We won't reward him until he's in a calm, submissive behavior. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten times Cartman got what he deserved. I can't wait. This is gonna be so awesome. Get out of my way. For this list, we'll be looking at moments where South Park's most infamous character, Eric Cartman, got a taste of his own medicine. What do you think Cartman deserves after everything he's done? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Can't go to his favorite restaurant. It's the greatest restaurant in the world as far as Cartman is concerned. Yet, when Kyle opts to take his friends there for his birthday, Cartman is left out in the cold. Awesome! Casa Bonita! Casa Bonita! Food and fun and a festive atmosphere! Casa Bonita! Who said I'm inviting you? Kyle makes it clear to him that, given how badly Eric has treated him over the years, he has no interest in bringing him. There's a certain amount of satisfaction in seeing Kyle finally have a moment to put one over on Cartman. Given the fact that he hides butters in a bomb shelter so he can take his place, we're glad Kyle stood his ground. But if you leave me down, you take away the biggest part of me. Ooh, girl, baby, please don't go. We're also glad that Cartman got a week in juvie, even if he didn't learn his lesson. Well, kid, you made an entire town panic, you lost all your friends, and now you're going to juvenile hall for a week. <laughs> Was it worth it? Totally. Number 9. Annoys himself. You know it has to be bad if you annoy even yourself. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for the new Nintendo Wii to come out. When does it come out? Three weeks. Come on. Too impatient to wait for the Nintendo Wii, Cartman freezes himself and wakes up 540 years in the future. After having to deal with a conflict between futuristic humans and sea otters, he wants nothing more than to undo his entire trip. He manages to call himself in the past in an attempt to stop himself from being frozen. Listen to me carefully. You need to be patient. What? Who the hell is this? It's me. Me who? Me you. The joke's on him. His past self doesn't believe him and hangs up. It's made even better when Cartman finally does return to the past, except it's two months earlier than when he left. We'd like to think he'd learn to be more patient, but come on, it's Cartman. No! No! You sent me back too far! Hey, do it over! Number 8. Cartman's Britney Impression We've done lists before on how badly poor Butters has been treated in this town. But no one has been worse to the Stotch Kid than Cartman. Greetings, I am the Asimo 4000. Whoa. This time around, he puts on a robot costume and pretends to be Butter's new robot friend, hoping to learn something embarrassing he can tease him about later. It all backfires when Eric finds out Butters has a videotape of him singing like Britney Spears. When Carmen is playing all alone in his backyard, he likes to dress up like Britney Spears and pretend he's her. He sings and dances around with a life-size cutout of Justin Timberlake. Stotch learns the truth about his robot and everyone sees the tape. It's not very often that the boys in town get real revenge on Cartman for his antics, so this is sheer delight. Come on, Justin, touch my body. Ooh, Justin, yeah, touch my body, you and me. Number 7. Kyle vs. Cartman Yet another entry on this list related to Kyle. These two have certainly had their share of arguments, but punches were actually thrown this time. Everyone's gonna be charitable and give money to your family instead of buying Christmas presents! Well, correction, one punch is thrown. Through a series of misadventures, Stan, Cartman, Kyle, and Ike end up in Canada on Christmas morning. It's Christmas. We officially missed it. Mad for missing out on his holiday gifts, Cartman wants to fight. After a couple of empty threats, Kyle lightly hits him and Cartman balls like a baby. Hey, come on, boys! It's nowhere near as bad as other fights Cartman has lost, but it certainly was well deserved. Number 6. Well behaved. He spits in a caretaker's mouth and drove another nanny so insane she had to be committed to a mental institution. I'm afraid Super Nanny is in a deep state of mental psychosis. What do you mean? I mean she spends most of her time sobbing and eating her own excrement. How is Cartman's mom ever going to get him under control? The answer? Treat him like a dog. 
famed dog trainer Caesar Milan manages to turn Cartman into a respectable, decent kid by using the same methods he uses on bad behaved canines. Don't look at him, just look straight ahead and he'll run out of energy soon. Although it doesn't last, thanks to Cartman's mom, it's both satisfying and disturbing to see Eric as such a well-adjusted kid. Is it weird that we prefer him being the sociopath he is? Could I perhaps have two Mega Rangers? Yes, darling. You can have whatever you want. Number 5. Loses in the Special Olympics Timmy and Jimmy are going all in for the Special Olympics. While Jimmy faces his own demons about competing, Cartman is convinced he can pretend to be handicapped just so he can enter and win the cash prize. At the end of the Special Olympics, a grand champion special athlete is crowned and given a cash prize of $1,000. It's an incredibly offensive idea, but coming from Eric, it's more status quo than anything. Expecting to be a sure thing, Cartman never considers that even for this competition, you actually do need to have talent. <laughs> what, what <the> hell? <laughs> Eric loses in every event simply because he's out of shape and was never prepared to tackle a competition like this. It's his sheer ignorance of all things that keeps the $1,000 prize away from him. Maybe next time, try training for it, Eric. Who came in very last? Eric Cartman! Ah, screw you, hippies! Number 4. God Gets Revenge You know you've done something horribly wrong when God decides to strike you down with a bolt of lightning. Well, good going, Mom! You've completely screwed me over! After spending much of this episode accusing his mother of inappropriate behavior, Cartman takes his anger out on God. Yelling at the sky in front of a Best Buy, every viewer watching is just hoping something will happen to give this kid a taste of his own medicine. Why did you do this to me, God? Next time you're gonna get my hopes up, could you please take me to a grease monkey? So when the shot does come down and Eric ends up in the hospital, audiences are left smiling knowing justice was served and Cartman's paying a price for being so rude. Number 3. Ignored Seriously, who eats all the skin off the KFC chicken your friend's mom bought for all of you? As revenge, all the boys, save for Butters, decide to completely ignore him. Hey, I hate Cartman too. Can I ignore him with you? Yeah, me, me too. too. Yeah, screw him. Ugh. I never realized ignoring him was an option. Given that he now thinks he's dead, we wonder if this is where the term ghosting came from. What is that kid doing? I don't know, just ignore him. All jokes aside, this entry is unique in that it's a perfect form of punishment for a kid who's overly selfish. Cartman's the kid who always wants the attention and goes to extreme lengths to get it. Betters. Ah! Don't worry, Betters, I'm gonna get you out of here. Please leave me alone, Eric! It's incredibly satisfying to watch him jump through all these hoops in the hopes of being redeemed. Number 2. Tenorman's Revenge when Cartman fed Scott Tennerman his parents in Season 5, we learned how truly dark and disturbing Eric is. Oh, let me taste your tears, Scott. Mm, your tears are so yummy and sweet. Everything that happened later was built upon the idea that this is a kid who will stop at nothing to get revenge. However, it looks like it may have run in the family. <laughs> Eric Cartman, I've waited a long time for this. In Season 14, we learn Scott was actually Cartman's half-brother, and in taking his rage out on him, Eric inadvertently offed his own dad. We love how the show found a way to take Cartman's darkest moment and turn it on him. You killed your own father, and then you fed him to your half-brother! No! No! This may not be our number one entry, but it's certainly the most psychological comeuppance he's seen. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Wendy vs. Cartman she may have been Stan's girlfriend, but that certainly never stopped Cartman from taking every opportunity to mock her. Will somebody do something? Every week he gets worse and nobody does anything! Eric, stop being offensive. 
I'm just trying to engage Wendy in a constructive dialogue about breast cancer awareness, Mr. Garrison. No, you aren't! Wendy, you need to calm down. So it comes as a bit of a surprise how freaked out he gets when Wendy finally challenges him to a fight after school. It's clear from Eric's desperate attempts to get out of it that he knows it's not going to end well. The thing is, I, I totally said I was sorry, but she still wants to beat me up. <laughs> Cartman's done a lot of terrible things by this point in the show, so it's both the school kids and viewers who want to see him finally get punished. Wendy delivers punch after punch until he finally goes down. It certainly isn't elegant or civilized, but for this oversized meanie, it's exactly what he deserved. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.